We've never been in a situation where we have the impeachment of a president in an election year with the goal of removing the president from the ballot. As I've said before, that is the most massive election interference we've ever witnessed. It's domestic election interference. It's political election, election interference, and it's wrong. They don't talk about the horrible consequences to our country of doing that. But they would be terrible, they would tear us apart for generations, and the American people wouldn't accept it. Let me address in that context the importance of the vote for their inquiry, which also had bipartisan opposition. Now they said, well, we were fine when, we, when Speaker Pelosi announced it. We didn't need a vote. The subpoenas were authorized. Then why did they have a vote? They had a vote because they understood they had a big problem that they needed to fix. But what's more important about the vote than the procedural issue? The important thing about the vote is that if you're going to start an impeachment investigation, particularly on, in an election year, there needs to be political accountability to the American people. You can't just go have a press conference. If you're going to say that the votes of the American people need to be disallowed, that all of the ballots need to be torn up, then at the very least, you need to be accountable to your home district for that decision. And now they are. And now they are. And if the American people decide, if they're allowed to vote, if the American people decide that they don't like what's happened here, that they don't like the constitutional violations that have happened, that they don't like the attack on a successful president for purely partisan political purposes, then they can do something about it and they can throw them out. That's why a vote's important. But we should never even consider removing the name of a president from the ballot on a purely partisan basis in an election year. Important? I'll say it's important. For that reason alone, and for the interest of uniting our country, it must be rejected. Thank you, Mr. Chief Justice.